हेलो हाय एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल होप ऑल आर वेल राइट सो वेलकम टू ए आई स्मार्ट एजुकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एन टी आई यू जी सी नेट कॉमर्स पेपर टू एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इनकम टैक्स यूनिट विच इज रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड एम सी क्यू ऑन इनकम टैक्स यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट नंबर टेन and we are going to see each and every question with the complete explanation and this video will be helpful not only to the UGC net student but also to the common set student who are preparing for upcoming set exam okay so let's start with the lecture before that if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel so that you will receive my lecture on the everyday basis set of laws against income under other head of a income under section for this the options given is section 51 now here the section 51 of income tax act 1961 provided that any advance forfeitable by the seller of the property is deductible from the cost of asset second option is section 61 section 61 is divided into the three subsection the proper officer may scrutinize the return and related particular furnished by the register person to verify the correctness of the return and inform him of the discrepancy notice if any in such a manner such may be prescribed and seek his explanation thereto third option is section 71 interhead adjustment that is section 71 it means a loss under the one head of a income can be set off against the income from the other head of the income but in the same previous year and last option is none of the above the correct answer here will be option number c that is section 71 business has been defined in this question they ask you about the business here the business simply means any economic activity carried out for a earning profit okay under section 2 clause 3 has been defined the term as any trade commerce manufacturing activity or a any adventure or a concern in the nature of the trade commerce and a manufacture the first option here is under section 2 clause 13 here the section 2 clause 13 income tax act says that the business as per the 2 clause 13 of the income tax act 1961 unless the context otherwise required the term business include any trade commerce or a manufacturer or a any advantage or a concern in the nature of the trade commerce or the manufacture it may be noted that income from the business is a chargeable to the income tax second option is under section 13 clause 2 section 13 clause 2 of income tax act if any part of a income or a property of the trust or a institution is or are continue to be laid down to any person referred to as a subsection clause 3 of any period during the previous year without either adequate security or a adequate interest for both third option is under section 2 10 clause 2 Section 10 clause 2 provide for the exemption of a income received by the tax payer in his capacity as a person of HUF now here HUF means hindu undivided family hence any income received by the individual as a member of HUF is a exam from the tax and the last option is none of the above okay the correct answer for this question will be option number a business has been defined under section 2 clause 13 the next question is loss from the house property can be set off against here they ask you about the loss from the house property for this the first option is business profession here the meaning of business profession means to earn the profit by supplying the goods and the services whereas the profession is an advance or a services rendered by one or a group of a person is does not include the manufacturing or a selling of good second option is capital gain capital gain is an economic concept defined as a profit earned on the sale of a asset which has increased 
इज वैल्यू ओवर अ होल्डिंग पीरियड एंड असेड में इंक्लूड टेंजिबल प्रॉपर्टी अ कार अ बिजनेस और अ इनटेंजिबल प्रॉपर्टी सच एज अ शेयर थर्ड इज सैलरीज अ सैलरी इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ पीरियोडिक पेमेंट फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉयर टू एन एम्प्लॉई विच मे बी स्पेसिफाई इन एन एम्प्लॉयमेंट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट इज अ कॉन्स्ट्रक्टेड विद द पीस वेजेस वेर ईच जॉब आर और अ अदर यूनिट इज अ पेड सेपरेटली रेट इज देन द पीरियोडिक पेजेस एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑल ऑफ द अब The loss from the house property is allowed to be set off against the any other income arising during the same year. Therefore, if there is a loss under the head house property or there is a income under any head of a other five head of a income that is salary, house property, business or a profession, capital gain and a other source, this losses from the house property can be adjusted against such a income. so the answer here for this question will be option number d that is all of the above depreciation comes under section which under the head of business profession here they ask you about the depreciation under which section it is came okay for this the options given is section 32 As for the section 32 of Income Tax Act 1961, depreciation is allowed on the tangible asset and the intangible asset. Now here the tangible asset means which we can touch and which we can see, and intangible asset are those asset which we cannot see, okay, wholly or a partly by the assessee and the use for the purpose of a business or the profession. Then is section 42. Here the section 42 under the Income Tax Act. 1995 special provision for the deduction in case of a business for a prospecting for a mineral oil for the purpose of a computing of a profit and a gain of a any business consulting of a prospecting from the extraction or a production of a mineral oil in the relation which the central government has a enter then is section 22 Section 22 is for the income from the house property. The annual value of a property consisting of any building or a land appropriate thereto, of which the assessee is the owner, other than such a portion of a such a property as he may occupy for the purpose of any business or the profession carried on by him, profit by which are chargeable to the income tax shall be charged. to the income tax under the head income from the house property and the last option is none of the above so as per the explanation the answer for this question will be option number a depreciation comes under section 32 under the head of a business profession loss from the specific business can be set off for this the first option is income other than the salary section 192 clause to be of the income tax act follow an employees to furnish the particular of a income under any head other than the salary for the same financial year and any tax deducted at the source thereon second option is any head of the income so there are five head under the income so first one is income under the head salary second one will be income from the house property third one will be profit and gain of business or the profession fourth one will be capital gain and last one will be income from the house property okay third option is profit of any other specified business only and the last option is none of the above loss for the specified business will be set off against the profit of specified businesses but a losses from any other business or the profession can be set off against the profit from the specified business after the intra head adjustment the tax player can set off remaining losses against the income from the other heads that means the answer here for this question will be option number c that is profit of any other specified business only compulsory filing of loss return has been defined under section here they ask you about a compulsory filing of loss return 
which is given under section for this the options given are section 80 the section 80c is a one of the most popular and a favorite section among the text player because it allows the text player to reduce the taxable income by making a tax saving investment second option is section 70 here the section 70 of income tax act set of laws from the source against the income from the other sources under the same head of income third is section 60 under the provision of section 60 to 64 of income tax act 1961 income although occurring to the other person but the prevent the tax evasion are included in the total income of the individual assessee transfer of a income where there are a no transfer of the asset and the last option is none of the above the correct answer here is option number a compulsory filing of loss written has been defined under section 80 carry forward and setup of capital loss comes under section first option is section 74 clause 1 and clause 2 second option is section 73 clause 1 and clause 2 third option is section 71 clause 1 and clause 2 and the last option is none of the above here the section 74 of income tax act 1961 to 2017 provide for the losses under the head capital gain the improper as such a loss is related to the short term capital asset it shall be set up against the income if any second one is section 73 of the income tax act 1961 deal with the carry forward and set up losses from the speculation business then is section 71 of the income tax act 1961 to 2020 provide for the set up loss from the one head against the income from the another carry forward and set of capital loss under the head capital gain section 74 if the net result of the competition under the head capital gain is a loss the whole of a loss shall be carry forward to the assessment year as follow the long term capital loss can be set up only against the long term capital gain exemption under section 54 is available to which person okay so here under section 54 of a income tax act an individual or a huf huf means hindu undivided family selling a residential property can avail the tax exemption from the capital gain if the capital gain are invested in the purchase or a construction of the residential property tax players such as a partnership firm LLP companies or any other association or a body cannot claim the tax exemption under section 54. The first option is company. Second option is individual or a HUF. And third option is AOP or a BOI. The Income Tax Act 1961 define the AOP. AOP means the association of the person. This is a full form of the AOP. And B BOI means the body of individual. Okay. Association of a person as an integration of a person or a mutual benefit or a common purpose. This may be individual or an artificial person such as a LLP or the company. Body of individual is similar to the association of a person and is also in the accumulation of the individual who have come together with an objective of earning some income. And the last option is none of the above. Here the correct answer for this question is option number B. Exemption under section 54 is available to the individual and the HUF. Losses of discontinued business of an industrial undertaking after the re-establishment or a renewal can be carried forward up to. For this the options given are first is four subsequent years assessment year, second one is eight sub subsequent year assessment year, third one is indefinite subsequent year assessment year and the last option is none of the above. 
Now here the business losses can be carried forward and set off in the subsequent years even if the business has been discontinued. The loss from the specified business that are allowed investment link the deduction under section 35 AD of the Income Tax Act can be set off against the gain from only the specified businesses. The correct answer here is option number B that is 8 subsequent year assessment years. What is the charging section of the income under the head capital gain is? Okay. For this the options given are section 45 clause 2, second one is section 35. Section 35 with the view to encourage the investment in the scientific research in the country. Section 35 as a interest with the provide for a tax benefit on the expenditure to the scientific research. Section 45 clause 2 of the Income Tax Act 1961 provide that when the capital asset is converted into the stock in a trade by the assessee, the profit and the gain arising on such a conversion shall be charged to the tax as a capital gain in the year in which such a stock in the trade is sold or otherwise transferred. Third option is Section 25. Section 25 of a IT Act that means the Income Tax Act 1961 to 2020 provide for the amount not deductible for the income from the house property. And last option is none of the above. The correct answer here is option number A that is section 45 clause 2. Section 45 of a Income Tax Act 1961 is a charging section to the income chargeable under the head income gain. In the ordinary course, as a transaction is a subject to the capital gain in the year of a transfer of the capital asset.